Wouldn't mind chatting with Fisk. See what he knows about all this. But I kind of have a feeling he's not the most approachable guy in the world. And none of it matters if I can't get inside. Wait. I think I've got it. With that fundraiser's level of security, I can't use my press pass to bluff my way in. Unless I'm really supposed to be there. But a photographer needs a reporter. And I bet I know one who's already planning to go. And thus a plan is formed. We also seem to have some messages. Hey, from J. Jonah Jameson. Perfect. <clears throat> Parker! I need an update photo of the sign on the roof of the bu Bugle building. My star photographers say it's dangerous up there. You're a freelance, so it doesn't matter if you get hurt. Take care of it. <laughs> it just so happens I happen to be sitting on said sign at the moment. Tally-ho! Incoming paycheck. No, apparently you need a photo taken from further away. Fair enough. That was me going to get you a nice up close and personal one there. How about that? Is that far enough away? No way am I missing that fundraiser. These are really high winds. It'll be pretty dangerous up here. For someone who, you know, can't stick to walls. Come on, Parker! You can do better than that. I'll take it, but don't expect to get payment. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a look at the old. Uh, let's have a look at the ultimate uh, comic. So the ultimate, ultimate Spider-Man suit. Feel free to give that one a little bit of a read if you want. Pause the video, all that. And we have healing rate, damage resistance, and shooting range. As I say, I don't really normally pay attention to that. I'll just go to whatever particularly tickles my fancy. Oh, how should we be upgrading Spider-Man? I think. I'm going to be upgrading the uh, the charge rate on the seismic blast. That's something that I'm going to be using quite a lot more as the game progresses. So I think the sooner we get this updated, the better. 2,000 more points. Shall I save them or... And, uh, I think I'm going to save them for either tackle or charge rate or possibly clothesline if I happen to save up enough. Okie pokey. So, main objective, reach the theatre. Yeah, we could go around doing other stuff, but to be honest, if they've already, the Russians have already got hostages and they're going to try and take down Fisk, I think we just need to get there as soon as possible. Having literally just said that, though, I can check that one off there's list. the Oscorp building over there, and I still need to get that uh, picture for oh, Jameson, yeah. for, uh, Jameson of the Oscorp Sometimes building. Sometimes I fantasize about moving to Hawaii, but there'd be nothing to swing from. Can't be late to the fundraiser, or Fisk will eat all the hors d'oeuvres himself. What can I say? New York's a big place. I don't know the next time I'm going to be back at the Oscorp building, so I might as well take a picture of it now while I still can. I'm pretty certain I still need to do that photo opportunity. Whoa! Where are you going, Spider-Man? Don't be acting crazy now. <clears throat> there we go. Couldn't ask for a better picture. <laughs> We've just taken a picture, you know what that means. It's Jameson time. <clears throat> well, that's one of your better ones. I'll give you a buck for it. <laughs> and for those of you just joining us, yes, I am well aware that impression sucks balls. <laughs> but I don't care. If I don't make it to the fundraiser soon, things could get ugly. Alright, hold on to your tight, Spider-Man. We're going, we're going. And we are doing it in ultimate style. Man, I just love this suit. Whitney! Uh, thanks again for using me on this. Hey, I get it. College is expensive. You want to make easy money taking boring pictures of wrinkly rich people? Go nuts! But you should probably stay away from me. Let me guess. You've got some pointed questions about the task force? Among other things. I give it ten minutes before I get kicked out. <laughs> hey, Harry! <laughs> Pete! <laughs> oh, man. I, I know we haven't seen each other much since we were kids, but... This doesn't seem like your kind of scene. 
Society pages. I'm a part-time photographer for the Bugle. Smile. Great. Got it. Thanks. Radio Harry Osborne. First time I think uh, we're face to face since um, well, since the start of this game. To be honest with you, so it, it is question time. I do believe. What is Fisk's motivation? What are the cops? Blah 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 blah. I think to be honest, Fisk is uh, <laughs> number one on my repertoire of things I need to ask you. Hey, I gotta ask, why Fisk? I hear some pretty shady rumors about him. He's the only one rich enough who is willing to work with me. I've got, I've got a lot on my plate. I can't waste time worrying about people attacking Oscorp. And our public image could use a boost. I'll tell you this, though. The rumors are true. Fisk is definitely into some illegal stuff. But good luck proving it. Fisk is putting a pretty big target on his back. Why do you think he does it? He grew up in Hell's Kitchen. Lots of crime, gangs. Huh. I think this is his way of taking control. Hmm. Standing up to the guys who bullied him when he was a kid. But knowing Fisk, he's also got a plan in place to profit from it. Hmm. <laughs> putting a big target on his back. The guy's got a huge back. What other kind of target is he going to have on there? Other than thousands of tiny ones, I guess. Whitney Chang says the cops on the task force are crooked too. I just supply the tech. Fisk handpicked the men. But the police chief cleared them all. The chief's desperate to stop the crime wave. He's not going to argue with the guy who's helping him do that. Well, one thing's for sure. The task force is getting results. And no one likes to mess with success. Huh. Drinks, gentlemen. Thick, thick. thick, 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 thick. Whoops. Sorry. <sighs> Uh, you know, don't worry about it. I gotta go anyways. I've got, uh, important things to do. Me too. Something fishy about that guy. Better follow him. Indeed, but first, I'm gonna read my emails. So, what do we have? Six audio tapes and two photo investigations. Yep, that's something we can be done. Oh, it's another email from J. Jonah Jameson. <clears throat> Parker! All the Hollywood trades are saying the special effects wizard Quentin Beck is working on some amazing new stuff. Give me an advance look. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, man. <laughs> Everything inside me is telling me to stop doing those impressions, but I just can't stop. I just can't. Well, anyway, before we do anything around here, I think it's time we uh, permanently have this Spidey sense on and collect all the stuff there is around here. Hmm, this doesn't look good. They transferred me to the Ravencroft Institute. This place is for bug-eating lunatics. Not a cat burglar with great hair. But something's up. The guards are terrified. Even the doctors are scared, and not of me. I get the feeling they're following someone's orders. So the smart play here is to find out who the man with the juice is and what he can do for little Miss Felicia. Now, I think we're beginning to see the uh, the outcome of that already. If her trying to drop that crane on my head has anything to prove. Excuse me, sir. I'll take that. <laughs> an, inv an invisible table is in my way there, I see. Alright, fair enough. Go around the long way. Guys? What did that lunatic with the robots call himself? A spider slayer? <laughs> well, uh, send flowers to his widow. We've made a handsome profit repairing the damage he caused to this city. <laughs> However... This may expose us to an unacceptably high tax burden. We will reduce said profits by redirecting them to a non-profit organization, the Ravencroft Institute for the Criminally Insane. In addition to the tax benefits, our funding arrangement with Ravencroft could yield some interesting medical breakthroughs. Very interesting indeed. 
you know, you've got to give Fisk some credit. I mean, he might look like a decomposing pumpkin he left out after Halloween, but he's got some uh, <laughs> business savvy. I mean, he makes loads of money cleaning up the mess that Alistair Smythe made in the first game and then tries to buy the company from Harry Osborne that was funding Alistair Smythe in the first place. It's <laughs> some sort of... It's almost poetic. Almost. Oh, looks like there's not anything good going on back there. And these guys are none the wiser. All right, well, let's pick up the last little bits of tech and stuff that we can find around here. Thank you. I can check that one off my list. Thank you. And I think there's one more piece of audio down there. And it's time to see what's going on. Looks like the weight is heading right towards it. Everyone's got an angle. That's what Daddy always said. So I know there's a catch. But the offer the big guy made me, it's too good to pass up. A get out of jail free card? Money? And best of all, power. Real power. The kind Spider-Man has. I'll be playing in the majors at last. That's the other thing Daddy said. In this world, there are winners and losers. This is my chance to be a winner. The price doesn't matter. I'm going to do it. Time to get into my work clothes. And kick some weight of butt. No doorbell. Guess I better get creative. And hot damn, don't my work clothes just look fancy? <sighs> oh, ripping off fence, climbing through vents. <laughs> you taking a page out of Batman's book, Spider Man? Next, you're going to be telling me to mash -a! <laughs> Some thousand webs of fury, maybe? Please, what do you want? From you, nothing. We just need your waiter uniforms so we can serve Fisk a special recipe. What are you going to do with us? <laughs> Depends how much you bother me. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'm going to be bothering you quite a bit. I was. Is someone here? <laughs> Get him! Can you put forth this weak an effort? I kind of feel like you don't respect me. And was it just me, or was that waiter walking really slowly? I mean, who walks that slowly? Okay, that was rude. <laughs> It told me to dodge, so I went to dodge, but Spider-Man was dodging as if he was uh, getting attacked by somebody. <laughs> it just gets shotgunned in the face. Hey, pay attention! I'm not gonna do this again for your benefit. Thank you indeed. Oh, you're most quite welcome. Just what I want. Alrighty ho, let's get the high ground, see what there is. Okay, let's not get the high ground and see what there is around here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Looks like Spider Man had other ideas. Oh, however. That's ringing a few bells. Now that's a beautiful shot. This is it. But what's so amazing about a fishbowl? It's a mystery to me. <laughs> I think we've been asking Quentin Beck that question for years. I guess that one. Bleh, 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 bleh. See, it just doesn't work unless you don't do your J. Jameson cough before. <clears throat> I guess that's what I should expect from an amateur like you, Parker. <laughs> Why do I insist on doing that? Okay, that hurt. But I'm alive, and I haven't grown fur or whiskers. And now, I feel better than I ever have before. With power like this, I could take on the world. But it's not the world I have to take on, is it? I knew there'd be a catch. Well, Spider, a girl's gotta look out for herself. I gave you a chance to help me level up, and you turned it down. It's your fault. I just need to keep reminding myself of that. Yeah, well, there we go. That explains why she tried to drop a crane on my head. Nice hood, Mysterio. <laughs> Be careful not to shatter any dimensions now. 
Ooh. I see that bit of tech piece up there. I think I have missed this bit every single time that? I've played this game. See, look at that. You just play a game over and over again. You still miss things. Or at least I do. Maybe I'm just blind. Okay. I <laughs> didn't want you to jump down there, Spider-Man. You need to start doing what I'm telling you. It's imperative if we're going to actually uh, survive this thing. Open sesame. Okay, that didn't work. On to plan B. Lunch with young Mr. Osborne was most enlightening. I'm authorizing all requested funds to finance the special task force we discussed. Schedule dinner with the chief of police so that I may put to rest any concerns he might have. Tell him I'd like to see the personnel files of all suitable candidates on the force. Disciplinary problems are not an issue. Oh, and find out how much Oscorp stock is available for purchase, uh, discreetly. I believe Harry Osborne may prove unfit to act as CEO much longer. Yeah, and if he doesn't, I'm sure you're going to make a way to make him unfit sooner rather than later. I do believe that's everything we're going to be needing around here. Up and at him. Oh, I will be taking my lucky day. Man, this place is just filled with tech pieces. I do believe I love it. And another one just behind there as well. Oh yeah. Man, I must be pretty close to leveling up by now. Speaking of leveling up, I better make sure that I'm not dead before I even find this waiter guy. 3,800. Yeah, I do believe we could actually... Uh... Ooh, so close to ranking up the, uh, the charge rate again. We could put it in tackle, I guess. Drawing on focusing techniques, Spider-Man can now launch a web attack or web strike while web rushing an enemy. Hmm. Yeah, you can kind of web rush an enemy anyway. I don't really. I think I'll put the next one in that uh, the charge rate. You won't get me so easily, Spider. Hey, look at that, Frenchy was right. Holy crud, we're against the Sons of Anarchy! Dance party. Well, more of a seismic blast, really. I'm glad I've already upgraded that, um... Ooh! Seismic blast once already now. That's enough of that, Chugsy Ugsy. one gets left out when I use the seismic blast. Look at that, we now know what Rhino looks like without his costume on. Ah, 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 none of this. It's just me and Fatso, none of you guys, you can take a siesta. Can you at least say some fun bad guy things like, Curse you, Spider-Man! I love that one. Alright, Fatso, let's do this. It's like a bouncy house, am I right? You say that I'm the juggernaut bitch and I swear we're done. Saved Fisk from the Russians. Now to find out if I have to save anyone else from him. <laughs> yeah, what, did someone sit in his seat and Fisk squashed him? Had too much champagne to let off some obnoxious gas. The whole room is now dead. <laughs> oh, the possibilities are endless. These oh. people are movers and shakers. I can learn a lot just by listening in. Hell, I think his B.O. is a cause to raise the uh, terrorist alert, <laughs> alert to Ramba. The police must really be desperate if they're working with Fisk and Oscorp, given their reputations. I think they'd team up with Count Dracula if he could stop the gang war. If the crime rate doesn't go down soon, heads are gonna roll. Oh, but I am Count Dracula! Boo! <laughs> I cannot trust Fisk, he's got a big golden ball on his chin. <laughs> Anyway, it's time to mingle with all these high city rollers, I do believe. See if any of them actually have anything relevant to say. Evidently not. All I 
know is Spider-Man saved my brother's life. He didn't ask for money or anything. He's okay in my book. Yeah? What's his training? What if he hurt someone while he's saving them? Who pays their medical bills? That Daily Bugle guy is right. He's a menace. Hey, 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 with all these crooks turning the streets into a war zone, I'll take all the help we can get. The task force is all the help we need. Now that Fisk is properly funding it, the police can handle this. What's your problem with Spider-Man? My problem is no one should have that kind of power without having to answer to the public. It's like that old saying, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It's not really absolute power. He's not ruling us. I see it more like great power. And what's to say he's not using that great power responsibly? Don't you think there's at least a chance of that? Ha! <laughs> You've been reading too many comic books, pal. You just knew they'd have to throw it in here somehow. Every film or game, they always try and find a new variation. I've been spending so much time as Spider-Man, I feel naked without the mask on. Man, am I gonna need so much therapy. Do you feel like you're getting ruder without the mask on? Because I believe I was just talking, Peter Parker. But somehow, they always throw in with great power comes great responsibility. And that guy, I think, done it in the most subtlest of ways, at least. Anyway, let's go get a drink. So, uh, this is gonna sound like a bad pickup line, but you seem really familiar. Have we even met? Judging from your bargain basement suit, I doubt we move in the same circles. Oh, I get it. One with a silver spoon in your mouth, huh? <laughs> Hardly. For me, silver's an acquired oh, taste. Um, well, uh, I'm here for the Daily Bugle, so, uh... You know anything interesting about Fisk? I know he hangs out with rich older men, and you're scaring him off, so I'll have to say goodbye. <laughs> Look me up when you move out of your mom's basement. I don't live with my mom. <laughs> I live with my aunt. Well, nice meeting you. Um, my name's Peter. <laughs> As if you care. <sighs> but what? Well, he knows how to make an entrance, by blotting out the sun. Time to talk to the big man himself. Yeah, and they, they weren't drum beats as he was walking in, that was just the sound of his footsteps. Or his ass cheeks slapping together, one of the two. <laughs> Alright, Fisky! <laughs> Let's have a conversation. Hey, back off! Uh, should I tell Whitney Chang he has no comment on the Russian mobsters tied up downstairs? It's all right. I like this young man's boldness. He mustn't reveal that to anyone. It would play into the criminals' hands. They want to make people afraid to support my anti-crime efforts. But if no one knows what they did, they'll get away with it. And try again. Oh, I assure you, they will not get away with it. Meaning what, exactly? <laughs> well, the, the task force will get them, of course. <laughs> We've been gathering intelligence on this organization for some time. But no one's been able to stop them yet. Not the police, not Spider-Man. Don't say that name to me! Spider-Man. He fancies himself a hero. But he's let crime run rampant. The police are bound by the laws of probable cause. Spider-Man is not. If he hasn't stopped this scum by now, he's either incompetent... ...or he simply doesn't care. Well, I would argue with Fisk, but uh, <laughs> judging by that last recording session I did when I was the Iron Spider, I did quite a lousy job stopping crime, so he's kind of onto something right there. What's your beef with Spider-Man? Seems like you're after the same thing. If Spider-Man is going to operate outside the law, one would think he can accomplish things more 
expediently. But he contents himself with apprehending purse snatchers. He's a dilettante, a thrill seeker, worse than useless. Still, he does seem popular with children. In fact, I recently secured his likeness rights. <laughs> you what? Ah, that's maybe something we should have considered. Gathering intelligence, huh? Find out anything interesting? Mm, the Russians are clever. They operate in cells, each knowing very little about the others. <laughs> when one group is taken down, it rarely leads to further arrests. But someone's got to be calling the shots. Well, they do have a central base of operations. But very few know where it is. Finding it will be another matter entirely. <laughs> How about this carnage killer? Is the task force chasing him? We are interested in catching anyone who commits a crime. But it's a lot harder to find one man than an entire gang of them. And I bet the fact he's killing guys you don't like doesn't exactly bother you. I do not condone murder, of course. But am I shedding tears for his victims? <laughs> no, I am not. It's this very war that will be the end of the gangs. The more they escalate, the harder it becomes for them to hide. Wait, are you saying the Russians are still smuggling guns into the city? Don't put words in my mouth, young man. I'm just the backer. I leave the crime fighting to train professionals. Now, excuse me. I have funds to raise. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, important things to do, too. By the sounds of it, those important things are now going to be included in taking your organization down piece by piece. But anyway, let's get out of here. It's a bit too snooty for my liking. <laughs>